one of the largest trade fairs featuring industrial robots, took place in January. Global manufacturers displayed their latest models. Companies are developing more and more two-armed humanoids for industrial use. One new product at the event caught a lot of people's attention. Baxter was created by the inventor of a best-selling cleaning robot. It's equipped with sophisticated artificial intelligence. Baxter is designed to work side by side with people in factories and other settings. The robot's most unusual feature is its ability to master a task in a matter of five minutes. All that's required is step-by-step -step manual instruction. No complicated programming is needed. So let's pick up this part. So you bring the arm to the part. Yep, just like that. So we have the part. You close the grasp. Yep, yep, yep. Grab the arm and bring it to the table. Anyway. Yeah, on that, fine. So, you just pick, a pick and a place, and at this point, you're already able to do the task. So if you So I can move that over there. It's going to look for the object. You, you can do this task, back and forward, and you already built some common sense. You really need to grab that. You'll be eventually possibilities for that. We can do it ourselves. Sure. The expression of the face on the LCD screen shows whether or not the robot has understood the task. Baxter costs $22,000, a bargain for a humanoid robot. The maker says buyers can recoup their investment in several months and slash labor costs. I'm very impressed with it. I work for a small manufacturing company, and we have some older employees who are looking to retire. And there's some tasks that Baxter could do for us very effectively. Plus, it, it would be cheaper than uh, employing a person. It's, it's not going to get tired. It's not going to need to stop. It's gonna, it'll keep running while everybody else is taking their lunch. The Boston-based manufacturer has a flood of back orders. Officials say someday Baxter will work at places like coffee shops, taking orders and grilling burgers. Eventually, they expect to have a half a million U.S. customers. Today we're focused on manufacturing and there's a very big opportunity in manufacturing, but there's lots of other places that a robot like Baxter could go. We had the industrial revolution at the turn of the last century. We've just gone through the computer revolution, effectively at the turn of the most recent end of the century. We are now into the robot revolution, 